What up, it's your boy Red, and I'm gonna keep this review short since a lot of you should know about One Punch Man by now. Very popular anime. I didn't want to see it uh, when it first came out back in the days, back in the days, like a couple years ago. But I watched it, and I was pleasantly surprised at how much I liked it. Actually, I think it was overhyped, but to the point where it was like it met its hype for me, anyways. It was pretty good. It's a show about a guy who's just trying to be a superhero for fun. In this world where superheroes have the society, villains attack, and he just hits them with one punch. Most of them, anyways. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> not much more for me to say. Superhero society, uh, the superhero society is interesting, but really, this guy is the one who saves everyone every time. Does he get credit? No, actually. Um, there's a couple characters in the show, but the main two are Genos and Saitama. Saitama's the strongest guy, he gained his powers, he tells you through how he gained his power, which is unbelievable. Genos does not believe him, but he becomes his apprentice in order to get stronger and stuff like that. If you guys want to know the secret of how One Punch Man got so powerful, just watch the anime, they'll explain it all. But he's overwhelm overwhelmingly powerful. When he joins the Hero Society, he basically breaks all the records. He's basically the strongest motherfucker on this planet, dude. But he's not acknowledged because they don't believe that this fool's that strong, blah, blah, blah. So it's actually a really interesting little concept. They believe that since he's a class C hero and class B hero, which is a ranking system for the hero society, he's cheating in some kind of way, which is whatever. Um, but he's technically the most strongest fool ever. Especially the last couple episodes kind of prove that. But my hey, check it out. It's a good show. I love it. I mean, I know it's not a long review and I was pretty fucking short, but hey, I mean, it's already been out for a while, so you should know about it. You should have heard about One Punch Man. If you think... I can't be that fucking good. I just watch it, you know. You never know. So what would I give this? Uh, season one, nine, eight out of ten, dude. I would give it more like a nine out of ten, or probably like a ten out of ten. But it was only thirteen episodes, kind of short, you know. Uh, they would have included like the the mo bonus episodes and stuff like that, the OVAs into the actual show as a longer episode, kind of fillers. You would have probably a way better show. But it's an eight out of ten for me. The second time watching it around, but um, hey. Thanks for watching. Hit that like. Hit that sub. I'll catch you guys next time.